What's up, Virgos? How are you? Oh, what do we have here? I don't know. It's time to release negativity, Virgo. We're not keeping that, but if it wants to come out, it will, right? All right, so how are my little analyzers going out there right now, Virgo? Happy fall, happy October. Are you analyzing the change in the season? Because it's absolutely beautiful. So Virgo, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me, my channel. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you guys, all your love and your support. I'm sending you guys all love and light. Uh, remember to hit that like, share, subscribe button for me, Virgo. Uh, if you resonate with me, if uh, you like my vibe, if uh, my readings are helping you out, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, help me to help you and help me to grow my channel. I can't do this without you guys, okay? And I just want to say thank you for all the love and, and support thus far. And if you're a newcomer, welcome. Uh, I hope that uh, you get something out of the channel. And um, just remember that, uh, you know, the energies here may not resonate with you 100%, and that's totally okay. Uh, just remember to take it as it resonates and leave the rest for someone else. And if you're not feeling what I'm putting out, um, you know, if there's multiple energies in your reading, then, um, you know, just uh, put yourself where it fits. So, you know, if I'm saying Virgo this and that energy doesn't really vibe with you and you vibe with another energy that's on the table, then, um, you know, put yourself in that energy. Only you're going to know uh, your story and, and uh, what fits for you. Okay. And then remember, we all have free will. So, at the end of the day, you know, it's up to you. You get to choose what you want to do, regardless of, you know, whatever messages come through, whatever advice I might have. Um, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for my choices and you're responsible for yours. So, uh, you don't have to do whatever, whatever, um, comes out in these messages. So with that, um, oh, one more thing. If you are looking for a more personal reading, um, you want to dig a little deeper into this reading, definitely check out my website and you can find the info in the details below, uh, in the description box below. All right. So here we go. We've got the Moonology deck out and I'm going to get you some crowning energy for your career, finances, your pentacles, what you can expect this month in terms of money. All right. So for Virgo, goodness, golly jeeper. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, and the end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. A personal issue reaches resolution is the next card. So if you guys have been dealing with anything on a personal level, it looks like it's uh, going to be resolved this month. Um, I'm not surprised because Mercury is in retrograde and it goes direct on the 18th. Uh, you know, Mercury retrograde brings up, you know, anything, anything that's left unsettled on, on, you know, things we haven't fixed, things we've left open, things we haven't had closure on. Um, you know, Mercury brings all of that back up and gives us an opportunity to close those out, fix those things, close them out, you know, do what we will with them. All right, so, and that also goes along with the end of a tough cycle. So I feel like for my Virgos, you guys have um, had some changes lately. Um, for a while, you guys were dealing with some interesting energies. Um, I feel like you guys have been really tired and um, bored even. And a lot of you guys have... Uh, taken a leap of faith and, and started trying some new things. So let's see what this has to say about your money. Okay. So the chariot, you know, that can be movement, that can be health. Um, you know, maybe your health is improving, as I just said, that you guys were tired. Um, something towards a wish fulfillment, uh, your pentacles, because I've got the nine of cups here. And that's a wish fulfillment. Um, we are talking about financial transformation. So yeah, you guys had, that's what I was picking up on. 
there's been some movement in your finances. Um, you know, there's been like a, a wish fulfillment or, you know, something has come along that has created a transformation. Uh, with death card, you know, for me is um, the end of something, again, the end of a tough cycle, but it's also a transformation. So I feel like you put an end to something. Yay, Virgo. And um, there, there, you know, you closed one door and a new one opened. And now, like, I feel like you might, there might be, and you had an opportunity for a new position, a promotion. You're definitely working on your pentacles. I feel like there's been an increase in your pentacles for you, Virgo. That's why the new beginning. See, a leap of faith. Um, <clears throat> wow, I feel like I'm really in tune with your guys' energy right now. So I hope this is resonating with you guys. There is a need for you guys to balance spirituality and practicality. So, um, you know, maybe getting more in tune with your spiritual self. Um, and, you know, like maybe because for those of you that have started a new job or, or you know, ha have maybe taken on more hours because you've been promoted, um, figuring out the balance between the two of those. Yeah, see your Ace of Cups, Virgo. This is so cool. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, so you have the Ace of Cups here. You know, everything is flowing. And it's freely flowing. Like, look at the Ace of Cups in this deck. I just love it. The water is overflowing. All of those koi fish are swimming around in circles, right? Your, your intuition is open and it's flowing. You can see things clearly. Um, beautiful, beautiful, right? You've got the cycles of the moon there. Uh, it's, it's just a lovely, this is a lovely energy to be in. So I'm super happy for you, Virgo. Yay. Seeds that you planted. Yeah. It's like things are coming into fruition for you guys. And, you know, I keep feeling and hearing that there's even more to come. That's too many. I did see the Ten of Swords, but that's just too many cards came out. I want to do a quick shuffle. Mm, they're telling you to shuffle. Okay, so angels, what other messages do you have here for Virgo? My beautiful, beautiful Virgo. It's like something happened. There were some tough energies going on, um, but you decided to take action. You decided to move. You decided to... Um, take back control of your life is what I keep hearing. Good for you, Virgo. You know, sometimes we have to do that. Yeah, a new beginning. You planted the seeds for this new beginning, this Ace of Cups. I feel like you knew that something wasn't working for you and that it wasn't meant for you. It wasn't right for you. I feel like you had hopes that it was. And then it ended up, you know, not, not being the right thing for you. So, um, you know, we've got the, the Ace of Wands and then followed by the Queen of Wands. Um, you know, Ace of Wands is a new beginning, passionate new beginning. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands is also, this is fire all over the place right now. And, um, the Knight of Wands. So, you know, that was, that's like fast moving, passionate uh, action. This is like something, you know, the volcano's exploding there in the background. So new ideas, um, you know, the Queen of Wands is, she's a fiery queen, that's for sure. Doesn't have to be male or female though. Um, but, you know, this is someone who's being creative and um, living in their creativity, be, the things that they're passionate about. They're finally, you know, those the seeds that you planted have now come into fruition. And I feel like, you know, there, like I said, there's more to come. I don't, I feel like this is just the beginning. But, um, you guys made a judgment about something. Like I said, like you, there was something that was holding you back and, um, I feel like, you know, you decided to make some, have some movement and go towards what it is that you wanted, but first you needed to end 
something else and bring transformation in. I feel like, um, you know, it might even have been an end of a relationship. It could have been the end of a job or a relationship or both. Um, but, you know, definitely something had to go and you definitely made a judgment call to, um, you know, that into that fool energy to go for your ace of cups and you left some other things behind, um, which brought you to the end of a tough cycle. Either it's happened or it's about to happen, by the way. Yep, he made a judgment to take a break from something. And it might have been even to take a break from a person. You know, there's this person, an energy, this this um, energy, this fire energy that I keep feeling that might have been holding you back. Um, they might have been blocking you from your blessings, to be honest with you, Virgo. So let me get one more card here for Virgo. Hmm. Yeah, see, I feel like, whoa, um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and I'm really putting it here, feeling it with, goodness gracious, wow, Ace of Swords keeps getting in reverse in my deck, and I don't know why. I keep putting it upright and it keeps ending out in reverse. And I really don't read reversals unless it absolutely comes out that way. So what I see here is, um, I do, I, I feel like, uh, there was, there's a couple of things that have happened here. There was a relationship that was also draining your finances and you, I feel like this person um, was after your money, like a, a gold digger, male or female, I don't care, either way. Um, but this person was after your your money, your pentacles, and they were, they were like, they were like taking whatever, they just take, 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 and there was no give. Um, and so that's what I feel like this ending of a tough cycle is either you you left this behind like this is a breakup card for me this is a resting card this is like making the judgment to leave it all behind um and to take a break you recognize that this is this that you had this new beginning and you quickly found out this person this this energy is not for your highest good and that they were actually um taking you for your money because I have the um, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like someone here actually may have um, stolen money from you. Yeah, and you were focused on the wrong, the wrong things. Uh, almost like blinded, clouded, you didn't even know what was happening. Um, you know, I feel like you even have some regrets here because I think this is a bigger story than I really want to get into. But because of what I'm seeing here at the bottom, you know, it's like the Three of Cups and it's not followed by positive cards of a celebration. It's the Three of Cups of more of like a, um, with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person and conflicts. Um, you know, something about a higher power or a higher level of commitment. Um, there might have been an engagement or, but, you know, justice, a, a loss. Um, you know, this is like, there's a lot going on here. And I feel like there's even more people involved um, than what I've got on the table. But I don't want to get into it. But Virgo, what I'm getting is you've decided... Whoever this person is, this fire sign that decided to betray and, and use you and um, for your money. And I feel like they probably have lied to you and I feel like they stole from you. Um, I feel like uh, that, that you, you put an end to it with the death card. You put an end to all of it. You're done with it. You don't want it in your life. You realize that it's not for your highest good and you walked away. Okay, 
you like decided real fast, I'm done. I do not want to do this. So now, you know, you do need to balance spirituality and practicality because you're working. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. You've been working really hard. You know, you may, you may have lost a lot of money because of this person. Um, and so now you're focused on, you know, working. Um, I do sense a little bit of uh, sadness from you, which might be why you need to also balance spirituality and practicality. But, um, you know, maybe not work too hard. You know, um, don't just go all focused into to working. Um, you know, you also need to take time for yourself and heal and self-care. And, um, you know, you need to, to heal your energy and, um, you know, focus on taking care of your health is what I keep hearing. Um, if uh, you drink a lot, Virgo, um, they're asking you to... Um, cut back on your drinking and that it's also affecting you it affects your judgment and it also affects your work performance um, if that's not you you know then uh, that's okay um, that just might be for a few of you guys out there but obstacles and blocks are lifted all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted you will now experience progress forward and forward movement with your projects. So stay centered in gratitude and ensure that the flow of abundance continues. So removing that obstacle, that energy, that fire sign from your life is uh, going to turn around your flow of abundance. I feel like you had it together and then like you were really good with your money and then you met someone and they... It took a toll on your checking account, your bank account, your savings, like it just, yeah, you might have lost a job even. And, you know, now you just may have found a new job is what I'm picking up. And as I was, you know, saying this, the employment change came out. So your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. So for sure, um, and clearing depths is what I open up to. Your self-care involves re removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. So that's both emotions and financial debts. Um, already feel lighter and freer just by facing the topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. Yeah. Yeah, Virgo. I mean, this is a great reading, honestly, because definitely an end of a cycle has, has happened. It's approaching or it's happened and it's going to allow for you to clear, cancel, release all of this negativity, um, negativity with a person, negativity, you know, with any karma that was even built up. Uh, through this situation. I keep hearing karma too. Um, but it seems like this storm is passing. Big happy changes. Yay Virgo. Big happy changes. It does. It feels like this storm is passing and you know you're going to be moving into more positive energy. I feel like you've even decided to just release any, any vibrations that don't really fit into your life and, and what you want for yourself. And they're telling you, don't stop. Keep going, Virgo. You got this. Don't stop. Yep. Recovery. So you're in a, in recovery mode. Um, they want you to look for signs and they want you to just let go. You know, let go of the toxic energies, let go of anything that's been, listen to your tuition. You'll be successful in the near future. There's going to be forgiveness with someone. Um, in perfect timing. And I don't, I don't feel that it's this fire sign. Um, I saw other cards in the, this, this deck. Um, I saw uh, the past life card, so the six of cups was there. So there's like there's something. There was a there's a lot more to this Virgo, but uh, I was just trying to stick with uh, finances. 
Um, but it, 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 this does because, you know, whoever this fire sign is, they, um, it's like they were, they're a karmic person that you, you, um, brought into your life. You took a chance with this person, a new beginning. You thought they were your ace of cups and in turn, they actually stole from you. They, um, put you into financial ruin and um they lied to you they were there's all kinds of stuff that this person was doing um and they literally like took everything from you like you don't like literally i hate to say it but they broke like they 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 stole from you they betrayed you they were after your money and they were successful in getting it and they left you um you know with very little and you're turning that around um they just caution you to not overwork you know that it's important for you to stay focused on work but at the same time it's important for you to take care of your own yourself and your self-care and your own needs um your health especially keeps coming up for me um, you know, if you're drinking keeps coming up. So if you drink, because this is the drinking card, um, putting an end to that, um, because it is affecting your health, Virgo. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I think this is a great reading. I feel like, you know, this energy is going to be shifting and it's going to continue to shift and shift and shift here into the near future. And um, you're going to start to see your life turn around um, for the better, more positive. And the more um, toxicity that you release, you know, in, in different energies that you even keep around you, um, you know, it, it's, it's saying obstacles and blocks are going to be lifted. So the more you do that, the more positive that's going to come your way. So I love you guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, help me grow my channel. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Virgo. You guys take care and I will see you on the next one. Bye Virgo.